everyone, it's Plant Mama Tatiana. Welcome to my channel, and today I'm going to show you our Lowe's Clearance Haul. Woo! <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then the part that goes. So yesterday, my mom and I went to Lowe's and she noticed they were starting to mark down the plants. So obviously we had to check everything out and be as fast as we could before everyone else took the plants. So we have a little haul for you all. I'm very excited. Lots of flowers, lots of color, everything for the garden. The first plants I wanna show you all are these calla lilies. So here's one. I lost the other one. Does anyone see? Oh, it's right next to me. So we got two calla lilies here. These were both $4. These were the best looking ones that they had left. We have no idea what color the flowers will be, but there were a lot of droopier ones. They weren't as nice. They were originally $10.98, so a good deal here. The problem with these, I'll show you right now, is that they came in these pots without any drainage holes and I lifted them up and they were soaking in the water that was just staying in the pot. So we will really need these to dry out. You can see that they're super wet here. There was a piece that also rotted off as well. I'll pull that out for you. This little piece here was rotting. So we're going to make sure that they don't have too much root rot. We're gonna let these really, really dry out, but hopefully these will be okay and they will grow beautiful flowers hopefully a nice color, we have no idea. So that is the first part of the haul, two calla lilies. The next one is this croton. So this was $2. It's looking a little rough, but hopefully we can plant this and revive this. It's got really nice big leaves, and this was originally $6.98. So a nice little clearance buy there. The next plants we got are for the garden as well. It's actually the original reason we went to Lowe's. My mom wanted these bougainvilleas. She wanted three of them to grow in the garden to grow up these posts. So we got three of them here. Here's two. So we got ones that we thought looked the best, that were the biggest with the nicest leaves. So ah, that's two. And this is the third one. Originally $8.98, marked down to $4. So they look pretty healthy. They're not like the most beautiful ones, but I think they'll be okay. And they all had the trellis already on them. So that's three of them. Are these Barbara Karst Bougainvillea, Bougainvillea Butania. They are full sun plants. We have a little bit of pink flowers growing on this one, if you can see from there which is super cute. So hopefully these grow really nicely in the garden. So most of these plants so far have been full sun. I didn't tell you guys. The calla lilies are high light plants. So these can go on the patio. You can probably keep these indoors as well. Um, so we'll see if we wanna do these indoors or outdoors. It is not too cold yet. So they could be outside, but I'm afraid it was raining and they were already wet. So I didn't want them to get any more rain. The croton is also a full sun plant. So six plus hours of direct sun. Now let's get into more of the flowers that we got. So we got these here. You can see these red flowers. These are petunias. This was some several multi-pack, 12-pack or whatever, that was marked down to $4. And it doesn't look great on all of them. Some of the pieces in here are rotten or dead, but there's a lot of healthy ones still in this pack. And they have beautiful red flowers. And these are gonna grow really nicely in the garden. So that's that one. Similarly, these are pechoas which is a cross between a petunia and the Calibrachoa Pechoa series. I think I butchered that, but they're very similar looking to the petunias with similar flowers. So this, we have a different color, pink with yellow in the middle. And this was also $4, a nice big pot. And this is going to spread really nicely in the garden. I believe these are also, yep, full sun. So aren't these gorgeous flowers? The next plants, are these, I'm gonna butcher the name, Sun Patiens. 
Impatiens. I think I butchered that, but they're in full sun. So this was marked down to $4 from $5.98, so not super discounted, but they were super healthy, not dead looking like some of the other plants. We decided to get at least one of every color we saw of these. So the first one we got is this lighter pink color, super pretty, of the Impatiens. I'm super butchering that. But I loved this pink. And then this one is my favorite of this. The pink is a much deeper pink, more of a magenta, and these dark leaves with red stems. So these are really pretty for $4. Hopefully these spread and grow really nicely in the garden, but I, I was obsessed with these leaves and they look really easy to propagate too. So we'll see if we can take any cuttings from that, but this was really pretty. This is one of my favorite picks. I just love that dark foliage with the red vines and the red leaves and the pink flower. Love this one, so pretty. This is also full sun. And then more of the Edward, can you lift this up and hand it to me? It's so heavy. These are more of the Impatiens. I think I'm saying that right. Full sun. This was $7, but you can see it's a lot bigger and there are four different individual plants in this. It doesn't look as healthy, but this has red flowers and white flowers. So we were trying to get all the different colored flowers and we'll split this up and kind of divide it when we plant it. So we thought it was a pretty good deal to get four individual plants for $7. We probably would have gotten more of these if they actually had the pink, but they didn't. So we have this. So hopefully we can revive this a little bit. A lot of the leaves are not looking too great on this one, but I think it will be okay. Assistance. Thank you. This is another Pachoa, which is the cross between the Petunia. And you can see similar looking flowers in this nice hanging basket. This was $7 as well. And it's always nice to get a hanging basket. So I don't think we'll leave this in here. I think it looks kind of leggy in this basket. I think this would be better planted and used with something else that's a little more full. But for now, we will enjoy it in the basket before we plant it in the garden, closer to spring when it's not gonna be colder. I mean, it's not that cold here in Florida, but you just want to make sure that they are ready to survive and thrive in the garden and not get any frost or cold or anything like that. So this is this basket, it's super heavy but I think it's really pretty. The pink flowers are gorgeous. Again, I'm pretty sure this is a full sun. Yep, six hours plus of direct sun plant. So lots of full sun plants here. There's two more left that I haven't shown. So next up are these begonias. These were marked down to $4 as well. They are in a 12 pack. What I really loved about this pack was that it had both red and white flowers. I originally picked out and we were checking out the ones with the white flowers and then I was like, wait, they also had some with red flowers, would you prefer red? And my mom was like, yeah, I definitely prefer red. So I ran to get the one I saw with red, but then I saw one with red and white and of course, best of both worlds. So we have all of this here. This is one of the healthier looking plants. I think they just marked it down to get rid of inventory because it looks really healthy, it looks really full, it looks huge. So these are beautiful. And we also have some pink begonias. I'm looking at them over there, but not part of the haul, but we got those on sale from Lowe's a couple months ago as well. So now we have the full color spectrum of these beautiful begonias. I wanna say that these are full sun as well. Oh, sorry, I see it now. They are part sun, our first part sun flowers here. Three to six hours of morning sun is what they like. So that'll be nice in some of our shadier spots in the garden. Last, but certainly not least, in our little clearance haul. This is my personal favorite. It's my boyfriend's favorite too. That's why I know I picked the right guy. Is these Cyclamen, or Cyclamen. How would you pronounce that? Cyclamen? C-Y-C-L-A-M-E-N. Oh God, I just dropped them. I saw these actually at Lowe's a couple of weeks ago when they were not on sale, and I was like, oh, these are really pretty. I really like them, but I was just kind of like not ready to get them, but I really wanted to grow them indoors just because I thought it would make the cutest little plant. They have such pretty variegated leaves here. They're green and white and they have such cool texture looking on them, such cool shape and design. And then they have these beautiful red 
and pink flowers. So when I saw that they were marked down for $4 for this 12 pack, actually no, it's a six pack, sorry. I knew that we had to get them. So this is my favorite pick. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I love the leaves. I'm so obsessed with them. I can't stop looking at them. Oh, they're so pretty. So in terms of care, these are part sun as well. So three to six hours of morning sun. So that to me sounds like you could probably get away with growing some of these indoors as well on a nice sunny windowsill. So I'm gonna try that out and let you know. But there's six individual plants here so we can spread these out in the garden, try some indoors, try some on the patio, and see how they do. But that is my personal favorite because it's got the beautiful flowers and beautiful leaves. That's the full clearance haul from Lowe's. Everything was pretty much $4, a couple of $7 plants that we got, but mostly $4, some $2 as well. So everything was discounted, obviously and everything luckily still looks really healthy so we're going to repot, plant them up, and put them in the garden and make sure that none of them have rot and that we get rid of all of those bad leaves and all of that. But overall, I think they look pretty good, pretty healthy, and I'm excited to keep you updated on how these do and show you how much they grow and thrive when we plant them in the garden. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye! Can you fetch me some water, please? <laughs> Thank you. It's important to stay hydrated. Diva. Diva. <laughs> so rude. Okay, it's thank you. Video. I'm parched. I have to perform. Or your crew. Okay. Your mother fetched you that water. Thank you. All right. Is it recording? Yes.